So today Apple released yet another beta, iOS 14.6 Developer Beta 3. Now, keep in mind, Apple released this today for developers and public beta testers alike. Now, this software could be releasing here sooner rather than later to the general public. There are some minor changes and bug fixes within the latest beta, of course, that I wanted to share with you guys. But keep in mind, Apple also updated all their other platforms. So macOS Bixer 11.4 Beta 3 got released today as well iOS, of course, iPadOS 14.6 Beta 3 is here. For the watch, watchOS 7.5 Beta 3. So everything got updated. tvOS 14.6 Beta 3 is here as well. Now, this download is approximately 300 to 350 megabytes, depending on your device and the update that you're coming from. Now, there was sort of confusion at the beginning because when this dropped, some developers and some public beta testers were seeing this right here. The same size of a download, but it didn't say beta right here. This is what I got right here today, and this is what other users did get today. So it was confusing. It is still beta 3, but I believe this software will be dropping shortly to the general public, and we'll get to some of the details here in just a few seconds. Now, there's some minor bug fixes, as I mentioned. So if we head on over to the Find My Application here and we go, you may remember that bug that I talked about where you can tap four times on the AirTag's name, and it will pop up this menu. So one, two, three, four. This menu is no longer happening here. So here's a previous beta. Let's take a look here. Let me show you what I mean here. So let's go into the actual menu here. And if I tap into this menu four times, one, two, three, four, we get this really cool, I guess, developer and uh, menu here or UI that is no longer possible here. Apple has obviously fixed this since it was announced or since it was discovered. Uh, there's some minor changes within the software as well. And we'll go over some of the details here. Uh, let me show you that there's a minor change to the colors here when you go to delete or flag an email. Again, this is an older version of iOS 14.6 beta 2. This is beta 3 today. You can see that there's some minor changes there. I'm sorry, this is beta 1 and this is beta 3. So there is some minor changes there as well. Now, also keep in mind that Face ID, the option to request attention for Face ID has been moved in case you did not know. If we go to settings here, and if we head on over to accessibilities and then we go over to face ID right here. So let's go to face ID and right there it is. Request attention for face ID is now an option that's been moved right here from the actual menu on face ID and passcode over to accessibilities and face ID and attention. So just keep that in mind, minor change there as well with the latest software. Now there's also the new change here where you have a pending a software update. So if you update to the uh, release candidate and you're on a previous software, you now get the also available option to update to the next beta or remove the beta profile and continue with the final release of a software. That's also new here. Now, one thing I noticed is jumping into Apple Music and other apps like the home application. I get these platters here. I did not see this before. You get these little platters here giving you, I guess, some information of some new releases for music, things you can do to improve the user experience for the home app. Uh, I haven't seen this. If you've seen this in previous beta, it is the first time I see it. There's also a splash screen here for the uh, Apple App Store. So I don't know why this one popped up now again. I've seen this one before, but I guess Apple, I'm not sure if they renewed the app privacy terms and they have to give this prompt again, but this was I prompted to me on the latest beta as well. And you guys have been asking about the Geekbench performance. As you can see, there's a single core score of 1558 and the multi core score of 3474. Incredible performance. Everything is looking very, very good. Now, in terms of release dates for iOS 14.6, We've seen beta 3 already. Last week we saw beta 2. So it looks like Apple is ramping up production on this software. So hopefully we'll see the software before the end of the month, right before WWDC. There's rumors that AirPods third generation with Apple Hi-Fi will be dropping with this software in or on the 18th of this month and maybe later or the AirPods may be announced on the 18th with the software dropping later on the week for the AirPods support if that does happen. Um, but it looks like Apple is ramping up production here for this software rather quickly as they release public and developer betas alike and now they're back to a weekly release cycle it looks like so we'll have to wait and see that's it for today that's everything that's new so far some of the latest changes on previous beta compared to this one the performance and everything like that and some of the bug fixes i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace